clapping over a speaker at NDSU today. Some saying they couldn't wait to see her and others saying she shouldn't be there at all. Valley News Team's Kellen Harmon shows us how two sides voiced far viewpoints in close quarters. The campus of NDSU echoed with discourse. We aren't here to be aggressors. We're just here to take space and be loud. But it wasn't from debate class. It was from protesters and attendees for Candace Owens, a conservative political commentator speaking at the university. The protest began outside before they filed into the entrance to the event where tensions raised. Go home. Do you even know what fascism is? With some unhappy that the school allowed Owens to speak at the university. Allow someone so hateful and who consistently spouts lies to take a voice, have a voice here at NDSU. I think it's disgusting. Every like NDSU student that I've talked to has had very similar reasons of wanting to, you know, show support for our peers who are part of the communities that she targets or that she um, uses for her content. And others were left disgruntled that there were protesters at an event they were wanting to attend. Um, everyone gets their side to believe on. I'm not going to stand here. I have better things to do with my day, honestly. I'm going to let them listen to who what they want to, just like I'm going to go in and listen to who I want to. What we should be able to do is be able to have a, a, like a civil debate about some topics without having to yell at each other. It's not often that most of the talking for the day takes place before the speaker utters their first words. However, that was not the case, as these different viewpoints clashed on campus. I think everyone here needs to be very mindful and to respect other people's beliefs, um, even if they don't agree with them. In Fargo, Kellen Harmon, Valley News Live. The room for the speaker was completely filled, and we're told that fire alarms had been pulled during the event. We're just three weeks out.